Hello and welcome back to another video of Outlook Email Automation. In this video, we will see how to add a table in the email body using pandas and HTML. So how we will do that? So these are the steps. So first, we will read the Excel or CSV into a pandas data frame and then we will convert that data frame into the HTML table. And then we will add the style which is like table header style for formatting. And then we will add some text also like in email you will see table will be there and few words also will be there. And then we will combine all the CSS file, HTML table and HTML body. And finally we will embed that final outcome in a email. So what will be the end result? Let me show you. So the final output email you will see will be like this. So this color I have put so that you can understand that this is done by HTML. So let's get started. So your like will definitely help my channel to grow. So please hit the like button. Give your feedback in the comment. That also will help my channel to grow. And please subscribe the channel for more and more videos on Python and Python automation. And if you want to see any of these topics, I have already covered this topic on this channel. Send Outlook email automatically. You can see the link on the top. Send Outlook email using bulk data. So let's say if you have 200 or 500 data and you want to send email to all of those customers, you can see the video. Add variable data. So let's say you have a single template, but you want to change the data again and again in each email. So that is already covered. You can uh, in the second video itself. And then how to read the inbox. So that also you can see. So how to go through each email in your inbox and how to download the attachment into a structured folder. That is also covered. And if you want to see. And today in this video, we are going to see how to insert the table. In the automated emails. So these all Python email automation topics are covered on this channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and let's go ahead. So I will go to my editor where I am doing this email automation project and same project which we have used in last five videos. And I will add a new file here from here. I click new. If you are not familiar with Python and how to use Python, video number 95 and video number 1 on my YouTube channel can help you. Add table, add table to mail body. And we have already installed the required packages. Again, if you don't know how to install packages, video number 95 you can watch on my YouTube channel. All right. So first thing is like we have to see the data, like which data we want to send. So you can see the sample data here. Right on your screen. I will close this file. So first thing we have to read this file as a data frame. So I have the code here for that. So this here we have imported the pandas library and then we are reading pd.read csv if you are using so if you are using excel you can use this function i am reading from P csv so i am using csv and then i am taking that in a data frame entire table is coming in the data frame after that we are converting that data frame in the html so let's see this much So you can see here, the entire data has come in a HTML structured table. And you can see the ID to the data, ID to the data frame is given from here. This is the header, you can see th. And after that, there are, so this th is basically for indexing. If you want, you can remove that one. We will, 
I will just show you first and then I will remove. Okay, so we have got the table in HTML now using data frame to HTML function. So this is how you can convert a data frame into the HTML first of all. Let's remove this one now. Now second is we have to read and add, we have to add the style to this table. Otherwise that color coding and nothing will happen. So I have the style table saved and these files which I am showing you, I will be sharing the link of these files in the description so you can download the file. This is the HTML CSS. So if you are good in HTML, you can understand this part. Otherwise you can just copy from here and use it. I will not explain it because if you will, you can pause the video, have a look on it. You will understand things. TR is the table row, TH is the table header, TD is the table cell. Right? And you will get the link of this file in the description. I will close this now. I will keep adding the comments. And I have stored the text of this file in this variable, table style HTML. After reading this style, we have to add some text also. So this is the text that we have to add. So table we have now, this style we have added. Now we have to add this text as well. So to add this text, I will show you the file. The file name I have kept before HTML table. So for this also, you can give the style in the header itself, but I have given this separately. And I have already used this template in the previous videos also. So this is the style which you can give. So this is the this is the original text and everything else is the uh, HTML. So this one and this one. You can pause the video here and you can have a look on this. I will close and go ahead. Okay, I will minimize this part. Alright. Now one thing, if you have noticed in this uh, table, the table class is data frame. And the class name which is there for this uh, style that is a style table so we have to replace this that text we don't have any other workaround so what we have to do we have to replace this uh, this part so i am i will try to replace from here till here so that when we will when we will have multiple tables and we are uh, replacing it will replace only for that table where id will be fine I will change the name for better reference and in this table html we are replacing this part only with this so the main changes you can see the data frame will be changed with that is style class name which is there in our style file because this all will be applied when this name will be passed as class i hope you have the understanding of html so now we have all the text available to convert a HTML mail body. Now if we have to create a final email, final HTML. So first of all, in HTML, if you see the first thing which will be there will be style. So what we have to do is table style will come first plus body html so after the style what we have to take is we have to take this text before the table and you can adjust your uh, files or your text as per your requirement so the second will be the body html the third thing that is there in this email that will be the table so table we have already replaced this class with table html so what i will do is i will write this as a html file And then I will show you the result. And then if you want, you can print also. So you can have a look here first. So 
first you can see from here the style is coming okay after the style the style is closed and then you see that html mail content is coming dear hitesh and then some text is also there after that the table is starting and table class is changed now you can see going back on in the video the table class was some data frame and now the table class is styled table okay and then after that there is a table if you want to add the footer code you can create one more file and you can add here after this so that will become the footer html if you want to add some more style if you want to add the background image i have already used that in my second video in the same series you can have a look on that now let's see the html file which is written by this line so this is the file let's see the result so you can see this is how it will look like this one if you want to remove what you have to do in data frame it is the index so you just have to add one single thing indexing index equals to false all right so now before we go ahead just have a look on all of these th these things and understand what how we are doing and this code is just for this testing so we don't require it anymore you can delete or if you want to keep you can comment okay so now what we have to do is we have to generate one email so i have generated i have created one code where i am looping through a big excel and i am creating multiple emails that is here i will just take some code from here and we have to take this api also so if you have not seen this video link is in the description so i just i will just take this these lines create html item and i will go after here and we have to import the required library as well so from here we are so this line is to initialize the outlook application this line is to create a new email item will come down here and this is the subject which we can change html table to email body and then we can have mail html body is equals to final html and then we can use mail dot s e n d send so this is the code you can add this code in the loop also so when if you are running for multiple excels you just have to put this part in the loop because everything else will remain same and how will you use data dynamically that is explained in the another video like you you have different customer in the mail body you want to put the different data for example here the name will be changed date will be changed mobile number will be changed so that is explained in video number 2 of the outlook email automation you can have a look on that for now table to email body okay, this is the subject for us let's run this code and see the result so code is com the execution of the code is completed successfully 
let's go to email and check so you have the email you can check the subject here you can check the time here you can check the time here also all right so hope this video was useful for you in the next video we will see how to add image in the html email body you can have a look on the code once again and i have added comments everywhere so anything which is starting with hash is a comment so you can have a look now and you can download the file from the link okay just come down and it is here please subscribe to the channel hit the like button share my content to your social media channels so that it will help me